Caddis Maximus here this time with a review of the Sofern SP31 version 2. This is a 18650 powered lithium ion flashlight. I did receive this as a uh, promo product, but actually when I received the email, I've received a lot of them from flashlight manufacturers and none of them were so exciting. But when this company offered me this one, seeing 500 reviews on Amazon, I said, I got to take a look and maybe it might be my first real flashlight. And indeed it is. This is advertised as a 1200 lumen flashlight. And uh, surprisingly enough, they put quite a bit of effort in this product for $36 on Amazon. I've been buying these Harbor Freight flashlights here. And I uh, still for 20 bucks, this triple D cell 575 lumens pretty is worth it. But my goodness, uh, I won't be wasting my money on Harbor Freight flashlights anymore. <laughs> I'll put it to you that, that way. Uh, this is a small lithium-ion 18650 flashlight. Once again, 1200 lumens. I kind of like the kit. They do include a lanyard. Harbor Freights don't do that. This one, I like the idea that it comes with this USB micro separate 18 or lithium-ion battery charger. That's actually pretty bright. has has both a red and a really bright green LED and a little USB charger. So I like that because then you can have an extra 18650 and it can be charging while you have one in the light and it makes it much more waterproof than say a flashlight that has a charger built into it. It also makes it so uh, it's more compact because you don't need those charging electronics in it. Um, they have a lot of details there. And what's really surprising about this product is this, this box. You know, if I was running a small shop somewhere and ordered some of these off of Amazon to put on the shelf first, You'd probably, as a shop owner, you'd probably have to sell them for 50 bucks, and they'd be totally worth it at 50. But man, this box is, there's nothing on it. It doesn't even say flashlight. It's simply an orange and black box that has somebody expensive, high resolution, full color printing uh, of just somebody standing in a field shining a light at a tree. So they can work on that. And what's surprising is that their documentation is actually really well written, written excuse me. Uh, this isn't traditional Chinese documentation. They obviously had uh, uh, somebody who had at least gone to college here, something like that, write up this documentation because it is actually quite good. Here's a nice touch on along with the lanyard. Two extra O-rings. How many flashlights? No Harbor Freights come with that either. So uh, we got a little card here. So they put a lot of effort into it. This little charger is only 0.75 amp, amps, so it will take a while to charge up. But this, it isn't just the, the details. They remembered to properly lube the O-ring. They cleaned the threads. These don't have scratchy, chunky threads like the Harbor Freights. It does ship with a little plastic card in there. I wanted to show this gold-plated spring in the cap. And actually down here in the bottom, let's see if I can find a flashlight. Look, I have one <laughs> right here. That is also a gold-plated spring down at the bottom. Uh, so I like that a lot. It means that you're going to have good connection. You're not going to have those issues with the light flickering on and off. And then also because it springs on both sides, it will be compatible with cells that have slight bumps, cells that are totally flat, cells that have built-in protection because you have that extra compression. So I really like that a lot. Another thing I thought for $36, it is, they're not there. It is one of their own branded, but that is a three amp 3.7 volt 18650. So that's technically what an 11 watt hour uh, battery that they're shipping this with. So that's an even bigger bonus. They're shipping it with a realistic battery, and obviously you can pull it in and out. This $2,500 Harbor Freight, literally for uh, $11 more for this flashlight, you're getting so much more than this Quantum. This Quantum actually has a permanently installed battery that you can't remove. I actually destroyed one. This is the battery that's in it. It's only 1.8 amp hours. So nearly twice the capacity. All right, here we are at full turbo mode. This is about uh, 100 feet from the, that far tree here. And if I can find the button, it is a little bit hard to find once you get it turned on with the tail switch. So <laughs> mode one, two, three, four and then turbo mode. So really, it's not too bad at all. And uh, the list does discontinue because like in the manual here, even though they ship with a three amp hour, they give you the, the runtime listings, but they do tell you that they used in you know, a really tiny print, a 3,500 milliamp hour, 3.5 amp protected cell. So at least they're telling you their exact testing conditions. And I don't know if you can really read that here, but there is just a laundry list of specifications. 
toughen. So that would be a tempered glass lens with coating. And uh, you can just see that, yeah, there, you can just make out that colorization. So I believe that is a UV coating. They call it an AR coating. Once again, this is a thick sulfuric acid, hard anodized uh, casing. The belt clip is actually pretty nice and is actually surprisingly rigid. I do like that with a flashlight like this. It holds on uh, pretty well. What I also like is it actually has dual switch. So you have a mechanical switch on the back. So this isn't the type of light where it's always slightly draining the battery so they can monitor a soft button. You have a mechanical switch when you turn it on and off. And then you have a soft button just for changing the, the modes. I'm also understanding, reading a lot of reviews, these little lights, especially in the 1000 or 1200 lumen like this one, they do get hot. You just have a ton of, uh, <laughs> you're putting a multi-watt LED into a little flashlight like this, it's going to get pretty warm. And I'm glad that they have something for that. So this has a temperature, uh, temperature sensor in it. And when the flashlight head gets pretty darn hot, 60 degrees Celsius, it'll automatically step it down. So even though it can run for two hours in the full turbo mode, uh, nobody can engineer around physics, and so it is going to have to temperature regulate. And looking online at some of those two and three hundred dollar flashlights with fan, cooling fans and dot matrix displays, it's pretty wild how far people are going just for a flashlight. But for this thing for less than forty bucks, it's going to be pretty tough to beat all the specifications: the nice battery, uh, the switch combination, tempered glass coated lens, genuine. What is this? This is a Cree. Uh, XPL LED in it. I think the colors around around 5,000 uh, lumens. So it does remember the settings. Let me turn this off here. You do have a green and red, although this could be a little bit brighter, and then this is your settings. You actually have five power levels instead of just three, which is nice. You have the super low power level, so you're not actually blinding anything. This is just like a, a normal flashlight, and I like that. It's pretty handy. And then uh, level two, level three, level four and then turbo it i'll go outside it is super bright then if you press and hold for a second you have this uh pretty effective strobe it's actually a much better strobe than i had with uh, my maglite xl 150 because it is a fast pulse and then a slow pulse and a fast pulse and a slow pulse and that's actually really optimum uh because it provides different average levels of lighting. You have the fast pulse, and then the slow pulse really uh, makes it too bright, and then it goes to the fast pulse again. And then if you quick press the button while it's in strobe, it will go to a lower power uh, level two, and then do an SOS, and then it goes back to a uh, high power strobe. What else I liked about it is it has pretty intelligent electronics. So if I'm on the low setting, and then I go to the strobe, the strobe will be at full turbo power, but then if I go back to the normal setting, it remembers I was in low power level. The other thing that I do like about that with the hard switch is you can have it on bright and you can do the thing where you just slightly press the switch and just get a, a quick look. All right, I found a grassy meadow just to give you an idea. We can go way out on this. You can barely see on the camera, but with their own eyes, this is just absolutely super bright it's pretty crazy that you now you can get little 75 gram pocket flashlights that really are uh big light bright this thing is absolutely uh pretty wild for how much how much it weighs but it's amazing how fast that head heats up in the summertime you probably have one to two minutes before it got burning before it started powering down but that's just the way it is we have to invent more efficient leds let's see that strobe one more time there you can actually see the variable rate a little bit easier and that variable rate is actually much more effective just because it's harder for the eyes to adjust to and just hold it again and you're back to your normal mode not too shabby also part of the battery saver is uh, the fact that as the battery voltage drains instead of it having just go full brightness and then just cut off on you it's intelligence as it drops to three volts and below uh, right near the dead cell, it will start stepping down the brightness, but giving you a few extra minutes of illumination rather than just cutting off. So I thought that was also an additional uh, intelligent feature. And then uh, an actual good manual that's, you know, properly written uh, in English and, you know, somebody who understands how to uh, uh, 
actually write things in English is actually a big change. I mean, this manual here, I have to mention it because they've always been the butt of uh, Chinese product jokes, and this manual is actually good. And I can tell you, it really does heat up. Just after just a couple minutes, it's almost burning hot in the front if you run it purely on turbo mode. A little bit more zoom because I wanted to show one more detail. You can see that it's knurled, but if you look in between each of the knurls, there's actually cross hatching. So what they did is they did some kind of like really coarse 10,000 speed rate when they machined this barrel to create uh, a bunch of ridges. And then they knurled on top of that. So it gives you this interesting, like highly grippy double texture. That's actually a really nice touch right there. And uh, it's really the first, you know, real flashlight. Actually bright, good power cell, nice build quality with all the things you expect, like the coated glass lens and a variety of intelligent functions. And the fact that the thing weighs, like what did they have in the manual here? 72 grams and uh, they do in the manual do recommend protected cells because this uh, as the voltage drops it will start cutting off and uh, do pretty well to save your cell um, you always want to be as safe as possible when it comes to lithium ions although it's interesting they say they use to use a protected cell and I believe this is a unprotected cell just because of how uh, short it is because it's just the same as the Samsung 25R as far as the uh, the length is concerned and protected cells tend to be just a little bit taller. This one, I think they would tell you if it was, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, let's go, uh, go outside and uh, I was going to do some comparisons against these quantums, but uh, I'll do one against uh, this, this really bright 1500 lumen quantum, the, since it's like a wide focus, it just doesn't get focused enough to, uh, really compared to this. This is a really uh, focused light that shoots pretty darn far. Also quickly point out that anytime you use this at any type of uh, closer range, it's just super bright. It's basically uh, no problem seeing anything. And I like that it's a lower color temperature, like 5K or 5500. Uh, just a little bit more color, a little bit more natural. Everything's getting to these 6 and 6500K blues. Do not like those, so I like the 5K on this. So that's my review of it, and I really have to kind of call it like I see it, and that's what happened, why I even uh, took this as a promo was just all the boxes, and it really does. I mean, uh, at least with this company, they're uh, selling you a light that actually does have its bang for the buck, and there's just so many departments from the coated... Uh, glass lens, the replaceable 18650 battery, including a 10 watt, uh, 3 amp battery, dual gold plated springs, and then the nice little bonus of even though it's a uh, slow charger, still having a uh, single body USB micro. Uh, eight, actually, this will do any lithium ion battery that will fit in here, not just 18650s, but ha the little independent charger. Um, and the fact that it's intelligent where you got a hard switch so you can set your power levels and then you can just go use your hard switch without having to hit the darn switch a million times every time you want to use the light. It's always just at the power level. And I guess the only real thing is that uh, they're just putting such big LEDs in these little lights that they do get hot. So having it only have a limited, I mean, in the winter time when it's cold out, it may run indefinitely in the full level five power. But uh, that is, that's 1,200 lumens. You've got an LED in there that's pulling down three to five watts of power, and that heat has to go somewhere, and there's only so much aluminum here. And really, you know, the flashlight race, that's kind of the wall that they've hit, is the fact that LEDs need to get more efficient to get more lumens out, because now what, you're running into limitations of th thermals, of just you got to get rid of the heat. You know, they make, can make tiny little LEDs that are 10 and 20 watts, but... You know, where are you going to put the heat? So I think this, they struck a nice balance. I mean, for most people, this will probably be one of the brightest flashlights uh, they have, unless they are, a, you know, an average flashlight collector or ended up with like some big stream light. But for a 75 gram pocket flashlight, this is definitely a competitive product. That's for sure. Especially for, I mean, $36 on Amazon. Of course, there's some tax. So about 40 bucks. I mean, Hard to find something else that uh, quite offers everything this one does for that price range. And having it seem pretty reliable, you know, 500 reviews is quite a few reviews, so. 
this video was just to provide uh, just a more detailed look at this light and the fact that I uh, think it's pretty cool. It does make me want to look at one of those big expensive ones that are like, you know, the big giant soda can style ones that are five and six thousand lumens or brighter, you know, brighter than 50 watt car HID headlights. Uh, pretty insane. I mean, something like this is already, you know, hiking or something like that on level five, about as far as the eye can see. Not really, but, you know, hundreds of feet down the trail. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.